Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators, GSR 24, being held here in Kampala, in Uganda, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by two very special guests. We've got uh, Richard and Emmanuel from the South Sudan Robotic Team. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank so, you. Thank you. so perhaps I could start with, with you, uh, Richard. Can you tell us a little bit about, uh, about yourself and about uh, the, the South Sudan Robotics Team and why you're here? Okay, thank you. Uh, actually, um, representing South Sudan as a technical manager, uh, South Sudan Robotic Club was founded in 2017 by me and other young gentlemen that I left in South Sudan. And uh, the main purpose of this uh, robotic club was to train youth in South Sudan, both girls and boys, to, uh, to actually focus much in STEM education and maybe prepare them for future innovators, to be future innovators, future scientists in, in South Sudan. Because in South Sudan, we are far behind. It's a new country and technology is, is something new to them. And uh, when we introduced these robotic programs, it was like amazing and everybody liked it. And one of the students that we train is Manuel Maror. He's here with us. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, before I get on to Emmanuel, I wanted to ask you, why are you here at uh, GSR? Why is it important for you to be here at the Global Symposium for Regulators, Richard? Yeah, it is actually the first uh, of its kinds to attend this international event. And it was exciting to be here because we're not only showing uh, to, uh, to the rest of the world, but to also our people at home. Uh, they are actually excited and they like that we are here. And the reason is to encourage the youth at home that they can make it here. And also it is uh, a motivation uh, kind of things that we, we are actually using to encourage youth so that they can one day attend such events. And like kind of Maror, Maror will actually think big. He has met many people, he has seen a lot of things and he will dream big. So he's acting as ambassador when we go home. He will talk a lot to the rest of the students and encourage them. Excellent. Well, perhaps we could... The reason we're standing, actually, is because you brought two of your robots here, uh, which perform activities, not necessarily on a carpet, usually. But perhaps you could tell us a little bit about what they do, Emmanuel, and maybe you could stand back a little bit for us, Richard. Just, just over here. There. Great. OK. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. So I'm going to explain on the functionality of the robot that we came with. So this uh, robot basically is assembled to work in agricultural field, to remove weeds, uh, spray pesticide to the crops that are affected by pests, and then carry farm products. We have two robots here. One, that uh, it is uh, controlled uh, remotely by human, then the other one is working autonomously. It is just a start, then it works alone using sensors, cameras, and then to, uh, like, uh, yeah, cameras and then control hubs that is controlling the robot. So the reason that we came up with this innovation is to help our country. Our country is facing hunger and uh, bears, weeds and other things like uh, they are the main factors that are affecting South Sudan. So we came up with the idea to at least use STEM knowledge to at least solve the, the real situation that is affecting our country, South Sudan. That's why we came up with the innovation and it is not going to end here. We are going to assemble at least the one that will work in the field. That is just a prototype that uh, we use at least to have the skill. But once we have the resources and all the things, we will at least implement it in our country to eradicate hunger. Thank you. A, a, a fine ambition too. Could you perhaps give us a little demonstration of this? Okay. So tell us what's happening here. Uh, actually, the, the robot is, is has started the, the engine, yep. the, the mechanical part that is uh, used to collect weeds. The ball, the green balls are in form of uh, weeds and the blue one are in form of plants. Uh, that is how they, they came up with uh, like this idea. And then uh, 
when it is, the wheat is collected, then it is dumped somewhere for processing or maybe to clear the garden. So this is the idea. Brilliant. And uh, the sprayer there is, is, is used to, to spray crops, like you can see. I think you can turn to the lock. Yeah. Maybe to see something come out. Yeah, maybe. I think it's spraying, maybe. Yeah. Yep. You can see. We better watch so, out for our <laughs> backdrop there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, after it has collected, so it has to uh, take it somewhere and, and dump. Yeah, you can, like. Fabulous. Straight, yeah. That's great. So, and how long did it take to develop? Perhaps we could stop the uh, motor actually, for a second. Yeah. For the new team, new members, it will take them like uh, two weeks. But for someone like Maror, it's just like two days or one day. And then assembling the hardware and the programming part. The programming part, we have to use the software. Uh, and this software is Java, uh, yes. programming uh, language. Sure. Yeah, and it is, yeah, it is, it is uh, easy to learn here yeah, for them. You see, it's now raising up. That's brilliant. And, uh, you can turn around and, and dump it somewhere. Right. Outside the garden. Right. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've okay. got a... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's brilliant. I've got a yeah. composter at home, so yeah. he could be yeah. dumping it into a composter. <laughs> bucket you can, you can try this one. Uh, okay. the, the AI robot uh, is actually uh, working alone. Right. It has a camera, but then... Uh, the camera de detects the object ahead, mm -hmm. which is like uh, detecting the, the 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 glass. I mean, the uh, grasshoppers, which yes. is uh, locusts, actually, and then spray it. I mean, right. like, w this is uh, the model that we have. Sure. And uh, in future, we'll we'll improve it. He thinks more. I'm a grasshopper. <laughs> yeah, it's leaving it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's well, brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's actually. Doing it best alone. Great. So and this is a, a, st a standard games controller that yeah, you're yeah. using for, yeah, the, for the, the other, other one. one. Yeah. yeah, this one is, is doing it best alone. Well, believe me, once we, we've uh, finished with the cameras here, I'll, I'll try it in a bit. It looks too tempting. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio. Hopefully we can disseminate this message uh, uh, far and wide for you um, and uh, keep inspiring young people to do uh, a wonderful work, which, uh, which, you're, which you're doing. And uh, hopefully we'll find some great solutions uh, for sustainable development and, and for, the, for the world and, and hopefully, as I say, uh, to, uh, to cure problems that, uh, that are happening right now. But uh, thanks very much for joining us in the studio. It's been an absolute Thank pleasure. You. A very different interview to the ones we've been doing here at GSR. Yeah. Um, and, and hopefully we'll catch up with you again in the very near future. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Yeah, thank mm. you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews at our YouTube channel, as well as our podcast on our podcast channel, SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you hear your podcasts. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.